Yo, what is up guys? It is Uncle Kobe, and welcome back to another installment of my Black Ops 2 Weapon Breakdown and Comparison series. Last week we took a look at the PDW and the Scorpion Evo, however this week we are switching gears and going to be comparing the FAL DSW and the SMR. Now both of these semi-automatic assault rifles are fairly similar to one another, however there are some key differences that set them apart. As always in this video we're going to be breaking down some of these similarities and differences while taking a look at their stats, recoil patterns, and bullet spreads. So let's get started. Starting off with the damages, the FAL is slightly above it, but not by much. Both of these weapons have the ability to take down enemies with two bullets, which is just insane. However, the two shot range of the SMR is about two and a half times farther than the FAL. The SMR can take out enemies with two bullets up to around 125 feet, while the FAL can do so to around 55 feet. However, what makes both of these weapons very powerful are their really low damage drop-offs. As you can see, the lowest amount of damage that a single bullet will do with either of these weapons is 40, which means after you exceed that two shot range, everything is a three shot kill. No matter how far away the enemy is, it will always be three bullets, which is quite insane. The only weapon that has a higher minimum damage is the KSG, which is obviously a shotgun. Now the time to kill for these weapons relies heavily on their rate of fire. Now obviously they are semi-automatic so how fast it shoots is mostly up to the player. However both of these weapons have a cap on how fast it can shoot. For the FAL it's 515 rounds per minute and for the SMR it's 450. And while you use both of these guns you can definitely feel that the SMR kind of holds you back when firing. It feels like you're pulling the trigger more times than you're firing a bullet which at times can get quite annoying while you encounter multiple enemies. But the most important factor that determines how fast you kill an enemy with these weapons is your accuracy. Like I said the most bullets it will take you to take out an enemy is 3 so if your shots are on target you don't have to worry about the rate that you're firing the weapon at. If you do have a fast trigger finger and like to spray enemies down then the magazine size should be a concern of yours and one of the deciding factors of what gun you choose. The FAL again has the upper hand which it should due to its higher fire rate. With that being said the SMR's magazine size does stand out to me. 20 bullets is fairly small, the 5.7 pistol has a 20 round clip so for an assault rifle it's definitely lacking. The reload time once again favors the FAL and that half a second does actually make a difference. You can tell while using that the SMR takes a little longer to reload so you may want to rock fast mags. Now taking a look at the recoils for both of these weapons, they have very little recoil while shooting at a fairly low fire rate. However, a couple variables come into play. For one, this is how fast I can shoot, so that may change from player to player. Also, it's nearly impossible to shoot at a perfect and even place while just tapping the trigger, so I decided to use Select Fire Attachment just to ensure that the fire rate stays consistent throughout the entire clip. And as you can see, both recoil patterns are basically straight up and down. The fails is definitely a little tighter, however, like I said before, it'll only take you up to three bullets at the most to kill an enemy, so you shouldn't be really spraying all that much with these weapons. For the hip fire spreads, again I use the select fire attachments for the same reasons and they were both fairly tight spreads considering I was standing straight up not in the crouch or prone position. And as you can see the FAL has a more vertical recoil while the SMR goes side to side. I personally like vertical recoil better for close range gunfights but both are fairly good spreads. But when it's all said and done while the SMR does have a larger two shot kill range, the FAL has a higher damage, larger clip, higher fire rate, faster reload time and tighter bullet spreads. You really can't go wrong with the FAL. That is just my opinion, but what about you guys? Out of these two guns, which do you prefer for different situations? With or without select fire, the FAL is a very good gun for a more conservative player. However, if you do like to rush, I just pop on quick draw or the laser sight attachment and you'll be racking up those two shot kills no problem. But that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. If you have a suggestion for the next breakdown, leave it in the comments or tweet at me, whatever you prefer. If you could take some time to leave it a like and a favorite, that would be much appreciated. Got a bunch of awesome stuff coming in the near future, so be ready for it. I'm also assuming that a lot of you guys are now off of school, as am I. So if you ever want to play with me, just keep an eye out on my Twitter. I tweet out whenever I'm online, but check out either of the videos on screen if you miss them, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.